Hey guys, Senator Kirsten Cinema here. I'm standing outside the El Paso facility where migrants are being processed and moved out into the community. You know, we just had a briefing from our sector chief and from the director of field operations. Uh, three weeks ago, we were at 500% that capacity. Uh, it's been a nonstop move, and as we've discussed, some of the populations that we've had have been the Cubans, the Nicaraguans, the Venezuelans, and the Colombians. Just, just so that you know, they're working a group right now. They, they are working a group, but that that vehicle that's on the south side, that's in Mexico. That is not on the north side. Um, you got the you got the air asset right now. That's Air and Marine right now. That's coming over to look for them. What they're trying to do is they're trying to get across. They're trying to get across. And they're trying to get into that housing area right there. Because the moment they get into that housing area, they can then dig in, and it's very very it's it's nearly impossible for us to be able to go in there and get them. So it's a short sprint to get there, um, and that's why the air assets are, are so important. But this area right here, this is where we're seeing the most gotaways. Right here, just several weeks ago, we saw nearly 3,000 migrants entering into the U.S. at this very spot. Now, thanks to the great work of the Texas National Guard and state troopers who've been deployed to this border region, it's cleaner, it's safer, and it's a better place. But this again highlights the failure of the federal government to take action to secure our border and ensure a humane process for migrants who are entering our country. And I'm happy uh, that we're here with a bipartisan delegation, as you can see from around the country, people who are interested in coming up with answers uh, to the questions that were being asked when it comes to dealing with the current crisis here at the border. What we have to do is get to work. And one of the reasons I'm thankful for the work that Senator Sinema and I have been able to do is to come up with a framework that recognizes that it's not just about border security, it's not just about a path to citizenship or some certainty for a population here, it is both. Well, having such a large delegation of senators here, I believe is the first time humans ever experienced that level of commitment. And the fact that they're not just one side, one not, not really a party trip, it is really uh, a working trip from, from people from various parties. It's, it's actually a glimmer of hope on the ability to look forward to maybe some positive solutions coming out of Congress. I'll get back to work with my colleagues on both sides of the aisle, working to ensure that we're actually changing the laws in our country so we can have a more appropriate enforcement, allow folks to come to this country um, peacefully, safely, and humanely, but also to keep our borders secured. Thanks.